uh, confirm and go live. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the greatest esports show on UWM's campus that I'm aware of. <laughs> That's such a vote of confidence. This is, uh, I want to fix that camera. Yeah, a little yeah bit. I was looking at that like. The camera's like. I don't know why people like it like that. Like, I don't want to see the back. Look, the back. You know. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's better. Oh, like I, like you know, like I don't want. I just don't want to see like. This yeah, like doesn't matter. Right? There's nothing, right? There's there's nothing there. there. All right. Welcome to the arena. We're an sports show. We play competitive video games like Bushido Blade. Yeah. <laughs> and That's so good. Um, and we uh, just talk about um, the way players relate to each other and social stuff and whatever we feel like talking about. I'm Eric. I'm your host. I um, play an H PhD student in. Uh, in the English department at UW Milwaukee. Cool. I'm Janelle. I'm also a, P a Plan H PhD student here at UWM. I'm Daniel, a friend of the show. I didn't mess up this time. Yeah. Awesome. Daniel's Outside. the best. So, we are one week away from the newest Hearthstone expansion, <laughs> The Descent of Dragons. So next week we'll be playing that, and Daniel and I will be fierce competitors in the arena <laughs> of, car of digital card games. Um, there have been a lot of cards. Uh, we now know all the cards that will be announced are re released. They had the final reveal stream yesterday. So it's an exciting time to be a Hearthstone fan. But what are we doing playing now? Because it's actually the worst time to play a Hearthstone expansion yeah. is this weird five-day period between yeah. the all the cards being announced and then the cards not being out yet. But there's a new mode. It came out last month. It's in beta right now. It's called Battlegrounds. And it's Hearthstone's attempt at doing the auto chess genre. Mm. And now on this show already, if you go back and watch some of our past episodes, we played Dota Underlords. We played Teamfight Tactics. But what about Hearthstone Battlegrounds? And that's the question that we're going to be looking at today. But to start our conversation, I know Daniel wanted to talk a little bit about the new expansion. And yeah, yeah. I mean, I have a biased opinion about the new expansion because, like, I feel that they increase the power level like a lot. Like, if you go to like forums and stuff, like a lot of people, like the main thing is like people are, a lot of people are telling that like there are a lot of cards that are game breaking and stuff like that mm -hmm. because like they're, so yeah, you should pick Brim. You know, I know, it's so much I know. better. <laughs> because like you have to talk about this stuff as well. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll, 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 we'll get started with the first round, I guess. Then we'll yeah. d dive into that. Yeah, so it's... the first thing to note about uh, Hearthstone Auto Chess that makes it a little different than other Auto Chess games is that you have to pick a hero right away. Now, typically, in other Auto Chess games, you are just like a nameless void, right? <laughs> um, not in like a negative sense, but like you don't you don't change from game to game. Like what you purchase and what you buy changes, but you don't. Hmm. And then Hearthstone Battlegrounds, you do change. So in this game, we are Bran, and we have a separate hero power, which is super Hearthstone, right? Hearthstone's all about having these classic World of Warcraft classes, right, come to life in the card game. And so each one of them have a unique hero power, like Warrior gains armor, right? And I'm going to go ahead and buy Bran. When he buys, when he plays a Battlecry minion, he gives random minion plus one plus one. So this was a one one. Now it's a two two. Also, it okay. says it says more choice to buy the cats because like you have two minions to sell. Up yeah, yeah, we'll get to we'll get to this basics. I'm assuming Janelle has no clue how this works. So, yeah. so what'll happen is we're gonna be continue every we'll we'll be alternating between rounds, which is this is where it's very auto chessy. There's okay. a purchasing round, like what we just had, and in the purchasing round you can buy units and you have a certain limited amount of gold to yeah. spend. Hmm. And then there's the auto battling round, which is there. And in the auto battling round, your units go to go to war with the other units. So I want to buy this. I think I do. Yeah. I'd be fine with getting these two. So um, and so we're gonna now fight patches. And so we we can look and see here on the side. We can actually look at all their names: Shark Boy, Range, SNES, that's us, Fakas, Invader Zim, Seal Cow, <laughs> Albert, and Tamanon. So we're fighting Shark Boy right now. Okay. And Sharkboy tied last round. So you can kind of get a sense of who's powerful and who's not. Though, in the early rounds, things are pretty volatile. Yeah. Sure. Um, 
And so you have these options up here, which is to upgrade your Tavern Brawl, which is what we just did. And what upgrading your Tavern Brawl does is it gives you access to presumably better, better minions that will be offered, as well as more minions will be offered. Mm. So you just have better options, but it costs your money to do it. So I, I didn't spend money last turn buying units. Um, instead, I spent last turn... But like a lot of this game is about like resource management, mm -hmm. because like you have to manage like your gold, like your points, but also like you can sell minions back and to trade mm -hmm. for more. Yeah. So here, okay. every unit in the tavern costs three gold. Um, that that's very important. So like, even if it's a tier two minion like this one, which means it's better, right? This is a two four. This is a one one, right? You can right. see that already. This is already better. Um, but. They all cost three, which makes okay. it, which simplifies the math a little bit. You can sell back any unit for one gold, but we bought these two units who summon a unit, so in theory right. they kind of costed less. That was a right. good hit. We're gonna tie, but hey, we will take a tie. So in a tie, nobody takes damage. Yeah. Hmm. And like, I don't know how you feel about this, Eric, but like, at some point, like I feel that like. Things get crazy like mid to late game because mm -hmm. like you can do a lot of damage. Yeah, 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 you can do a lot of damage. So the damage though isn't is unlike normal Hearthstone where damage would be based on the attack of the minions you have. It's based on the minions you have remaining and whatever stars they have. So like, okay. so, and then whatever your tavern rank is. So here I bought this because it's whenever a friendly beast dies, gain plus two plus one. Mm -hmm. And we have three beasts already. Now we have a tough decision here. We could buy this, which is another beast, to help this, and gives adjacent minions plus one attack, or this. A 2-1, so a little bit weaker stats, but gives a random minion Divine Shield, which we're going to take. And Divine Shield is what this has. What that means is that for the first time it gets hit, it takes no damage. Okay. It just pops the Divine Shield. Yeah. And so we put, so now note, our minions will always, they don't attack completely randomly. They attack left to right. It's the target that is random. So here, this will attack. And then it's going to give something to Vine Shield. So now the 2-2 can take one extra hit. This is good. All right. And so that thing, when it dies, it, it summons little little guys. Okay. Now we win because this thing was getting bigger and bigger. It started out as a 2-2, but it ended up as an 8-3. Right. Oh, wow. Now, some, some buffs or minions getting stronger will, will keep going through rounds mm -hmm. if it happens during the tavern phase. But because it happened during the battle phase, it comes back to being a 2-2. Okay. So here... This is like just classic uh, Battlegrounds 101. We have seven. We can upgrade for four, and then we still have three left over. Perfect right. amount to buy something. What's yes. really nice for us is Rat Pack is available. Yes. Sorry, Rat... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, because Rat Pack is a 2-2 two -two beast that summons a number of rats equal okay. to its attack. And so that's two, four more beasts for this thing that will die. Right. And then we'll upgrade the tavern tier. So now we're up. Okay. Were so you... a, a, a lot, like Hearthstone, like you have to play around like... Um, synergies between mm -hmm. cards mm -hmm. so for example what uh, Eric's doing is like building a board around beasts mm -hmm. so he has to optimize like how the cards are play out in order to like to get the best results for that like particular synergy between the beasts this minion got the divine okay. shield again yeah. this one's not looking good this might be our first loss Though we have taken damage, but that was because oh. one of our minions did that. Oh, that was... Yeah, they, they sniped our best minion. Yeah. The good news is we could... Ah, oh, We took more damage because yeah. we hit that, because yeah. it summoned more minions. But that's okay. So then, you see all the stars come together. They pop us for eight. Okay. We drop down a little bit. Let's see, did they upgrade? They did upgrade. Okay. These are kind of crummy minions. So I, now we'll do something we haven't done, which is the refresh button. So you can pay one gold to get a new roster of minions. Okay. We're kind of going for a beast thing, and yeah. no, none of these things are convincing us to either not go beast, mm -hmm. or they're not, none of them are good beasts in themselves. They are not okay. bad, but they don't like mm -hmm. relate to the board that Eric is trying to build. Mm -hmm. And also when you buy three minions of the same kind, you will get like a bonus. Yeah, so yeah, this yeah. Is important as well. yeah. So now we have two of this and two of this. Um, okay. the question is, do I want this? This is good now, but not great later. Actually, I kind of want this. Yeah, yeah, so then we're gonna sell... Screw it, we're not going for trips. Uh... Daniel's not heavy. Oh, shoot. I forgot I could... Alright. So not our best, not my best turn, because I was trying to explain the rules, but we're, we're okay. We're fighting the person in the second, and they dealt five to the Rat King, who we tied with, so th that's not great for us. But that was really big, like getting that guy, because he gives all your guys plus one, plus one. 
like uh, when you get triple, uh, like when you get the minion, like when you get the, the triple minion, uh -huh. you have an opportunity to get a minion for a better cheer for free. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's why it's important okay. to like get three minions. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. in like because the recruit phase is mostly like random. We so win. You, you don't actually yes. like get to pick what minions are gonna be available but if you have triple you have like an actual chance to get a better minion yes. so that's right. why it's important okay. that's why i was frowning when you sold the cats you know what i mean yeah but i, I get it like I understand. this is like the best mech minion in the whole game it almost makes you want to go max but we're not gonna do that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna ref we're gonna upgrade yeah. and then we're gonna refresh the tavern because we know we have three we go down to two and now we can buy one of these all oh, these are all terrible yeah. Um, I have two cells, so I'm gonna go ahead and refresh one more time. These are real. Uh, this is just a generally good minion, so we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and sell this and this and buy this. Put this. Th this summons two one one beasts, so that's pretty good. And we're gonna go throw this over here. We want this to be later because when it takes damage, it summons a minion. Yeah. Okay. But if our if our board is full, mm -hmm. it won't summon a minion. Actually, you might want to put it here. This is really smart. Okay, because this will attack, die, creating a space. So when this mm -hmm. takes damage, then this will attack, and then it will pop up another taunt, which is good because we we want the hyena to survive as long as possible because it keeps right. getting bigger as combat goes on. Okay. Ooh. Oh, this guy's really <laughs> strong. This guy's in first. He hasn't dropped around. Oh my god! So, like, how did he manage to like build this? Oh, that was so really fast. that was really crummy for us. This was like really bad order, so to speak. Oh. But, um, yeah, this guy has a ginormous board. So this guy, uh, or this person, I think guy is gender neutral to Eric at least. Um, <laughs> this is good. This thing's living. That's good. Oh, it died. Oh. Uh, yes, good hit. So we only take three seven damage here. We could have taken more. So they just had a lot more stats than we did. Yeah. Right now we're a little weak, I think, for this part of the game. Which is sad because we're one of the, we're so, we're an early game hero. Uh, so there is a lot of thing about this that is also like luck because, mm -hmm. like for example, for Definitely that guy like to have that like board. Yeah. He needed to like to have get to get triples. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So he probably got triple like super fast, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Right. But that's luck because you have to have like the, the right like offering phase. Right. You know what I mean? Right, because the cards that you're given are right. Yeah. So uh, Eric is actually having like bad luck on this game. Maybe you should go Mac? No. I think I do. Like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. I like where you're going with this. So the reason why we buffed that nice. is because, um, so one of the important things that we want to generally be trying to do is we, yeah, which is better. No, no, the bunny should be the first one. You're, yeah. Because it just dies and leaves a space, you know? Yeah, but I want things to die before this pack leader so that I can... So the pack... So uh, let's explain some of our synergies as they as they kind of stayed. Oh gosh, pack leader, you can't get hit again! So pack leader is our is our, is our our best minion right now. Because when we summon a beast, it gives it plus three attack. Oh wow. So that means that these guys all get... Nice. Oh okay, that's good, that's a, that's a taunt. Yeah. So that means this will eat up the next attack, which also has two, two health. So that means that it will die. So yeah, these things. Ah, darn it! Got to give that divine shield. Things are going. Things like go really fast. You have to like kind of understand the relationships. Darn, right. that was that was a bad hit for us. Um, can we? We win. Yes. All right, that's good. We wanted to stop the bleeding. So I'll explain our synergies once I finish buying the next route. Um, but basically, that wolf leader, when like we're summoning all these little rats, it's yeah. giving them bonus attack, which right. which is really good. That's like. Uh, Cave Hydra is amazing right now because Cave Hydra is a beast, and it's whenever we summon a beast. So it includes when we play beasts from our hand and when they are summoned in the thing. So we'll yeah. take that. Um, we're gonna refresh. Yes. We could go for a triple here. I would. Daniel's yeah. all for tripling up. I don't. I think triples are a quote-unquote bait a lot of the time. So like keeping stuff around for triples can sometimes just lead to not good re results. Um. So I could do, let's see, what do I want to do here? 
I think we're done with the rovers. And I could do this, and I would give a random... You could sell the bunny, and, like, you don't need, like, to keep him around, like, the first minion. Your yeah. first minion. Um... Even though, like, the, the other one just popped up. Come on, game. Animations! Nice. Did you follow Janelle? <laughs> so, okay, so here's what I did that turn. The cave fighter is really good. Now, you don't know this, but it, it hits not just the minion it hits, but it's like, you know, it's got three heads, so it's going to hit right. three minions oh, when it attacks. Okay. This guy's really strong right now. So we popped all those divine shields, which was good, but it's not going to be enough. We need this to survive through, like, all of our minions dying, right. but, but it's not going to happen. This one, this one's going to go poorly, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, he killed this hyena. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. All right, so we get a bunch more spiders. So we've got all these spiders are gonna attack, and then Theor. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Let's see. That was whatever. That that one wasn't really a bad attack. Yeah, we lose. So we we're gonna take. Let me, let me see here. One. All right, so we know everything's gonna live. That's really. Oh, yep. So that's three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen damage. Oof. <laughs> Things can get really out of control. That person's just a lot stronger than we are. We need... Yeah, we haven't gotten a single triple. We just got a triple. Okay. Yes. So that this is a really, this was a really good one to get a triple of two. Because whenever we yeah. summon a minion now, it gets six attack. Oh, wow. And so this is what happens. When you triple, you get to, to triple reward. So discover minion in the yes. tier above. Godron is really good here. Um, so what we want to do is we're going to sell one of these. We have to sell something. We could sell this. Or we could well. Let's go ahead and refresh our tavern. Let's see what we get. The hyena is kind of. I think the hyena kind of sucks. Like if you had like a triple hyena, it could be awesome. But now it doesn't yeah. feel it as. So. One more refresh. So I'm just trying to spend all my gold here. Okay, so we do it like this. This now is a ten four. So that's really okay. good. But the, when it dies, it gives all of these plus four plus four. So it's really, it's not a 10 four, it's also a, uh, these are five minions, it's a 20 20, right? Because it gives all of these plus four plus four. Okay. So hopefully we attack first. We are fighting the guy in first place who is yet to take damage. <laughs> we did kill that, so that's good, but this is gonna come in and just kill three of our minions. But this will come in and kill one of theirs. <laughs> um, this is bad, that was a really bad order for us because the next minion to attack will be the 7 7 and it will likely die. Mm -hmm. So we kill those two things, but 7-7, seven, seven, I need you to hit this too. Rats. Literally, we're summoning <laughs> rats. We're dead. Um, well, let's see. We we might not be dead. It, it depends on where all these attacks go. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. We're not dead. This is only a one, so we take six. Uh, okay. So, um... So we've been going for like this beast synergy, and that person just did the beast synergy yeah. like kind of better. Um, and so that's too bad. Okay, so we definitely want, nice. yeah, we want to triple our rat pack, because we want, you want board space to be able to do these battle cries. Okay. Um, what battle cries are is like, you know, it's just like, give a friendly beast plus two plus two. We mm -hmm. definitely want this. Do I want this and this? That's no, good. maybe you want to taunt something, like. Yeah, I could taunt something. The wolf? Yeah, taunting the wolf wouldn't be bad. I actually think I want to taunt, like, I want to do, like, this. And I think I want to taunt, like, one of these infested wolves. Um, let's see. I want to buy this, too. So what I want to do here is I want to buff this, because this will hit three minions, right? So it's, like, it's, like, right. it's bigger buffs. And then I want to buff... Sure, we'll give the, we'll give this wolf more stats. And then... The, We've got so we've got yeah, two of these. So in theory, we're giving all these plus eight plus eight, which is very good. You should yeah. refresh. Oh, uh, yes, you're right. We should refresh. So now we're just looking to freeze because we don't have money to buy. Nope, none of that's worth it. Okay. So it just depends. This person beat racking by sixteen last turn, and we have three health. So we have to hope that we're pretty strong. Not last place. Toki got beneath us. See how triples are really good though. Triples gave us probably our two best minions. Oh, that was pretty good. But actually, we have a we have a pretty good. Oh no, this darn it! All right, 
Oh. oh, that was sniping our best minion. But this lives and it snipes three minions. So, and this double death rattle isn't too impactful. And these are 11 fives, so that's good. Let's just see what we guys got. Like we could, we can win this. I think it's a. We win. Oh yeah, we yeah, definitely yeah, win. Okay. Nice. Yeah, look at how much stats we have, and look at how yeah. little stats they have. So, yep, this is this is good. Yeah. All right. Woo. It was kind of nice because our one of our. Ooh, two health. <laughs> Bye. This can be really swingy because you can't get knocked out really at three health. Someone still has to beat me. Frick. Right. The guy who hasn't yeah, lost. Over, oh um, okay, so what do we so we what we wanna do is we wanna do whatever short term gains we can possibly get, we wanna do them right now. So just to stay in the game. So we're we're gonna we're gonna re like refresh really aggressively. That's a triple. Alright. Oh, if we get another Godrin, that would be pretty pretty Ooh, sick. So That's not another Godrin. Okay, okay. So the best thing for next turn is this is this is this right here which I'll and I'll explain why in just a sec um shoot okay we're just gonna do it refresh amalgam would be good at another time okay so what we do is we put this here and the reason why we do this is this is an 05 that summons an 88 dinosaur hmm. now our role will be mechanical dinosaur sure. <laughs> but the point is is that we know that they might have a cleave minion right mm -hmm. so if the cleave minion comes in it hits this it doesn't hit any of our really good minions, right? It only is going right. to hit these. Mm, nice. um, so, refresh, refresh. Oh, yes. We didn't get the refresh off. I was too busy explaining. But really, we're about to lose. <laughs> <laughs> we either beat the person who is yet to lose. This is... Oh, no. Oh, wait, wait, no. But this, this is going to get to attack. We did... It lived! Okay. This is not as bad as it really could yeah. be. This is not as bad as it could be. Um, we want okay. this, we need this to die. Mm -hmm. That was... Rats. We did kill that. I think we're gonna beat him. Yeah. Cause like... Oh. Cause yeah, we... Yeah, we still have the 2413 and this will summon an 8-8. Yeah, so, and this yeah, is, yeah. yeah, it's over. Oof. Okay. Wow. We, we're staying alive! And we're gonna do max damage cause... Oh, well this... Actually no, that only summons two. So it actually less him. But this is a five. So, <laughs> that's really funny. We just... We just swatted them down. So but that could go the other way. Like there is a luck yeah. factor involved as well. Like, Let's see. This person, right, the this yeah. person won their last round. So okay, okay. So now we're looking. We're gonna upgrade our. Do we want to upgrade? Yeah, we'll upgrade our tier. We kind of want to find a third one of these. So now we're gonna get offered tier fives. Like this was tier five. So we couldn't get that normally through the tavern. Um, that's a no from me. One thing I say a lot when I'm playing with my wife is I quote, uh, "What's his name from American Idol." That's no for me, dog. You know, <laughs> oh my God, like Randy. I say that all the time when I'm playing this game. None of these are good. That's a sick reference. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, you could like it's magnetic, right? Yeah, but we'd have to sell one of our good minions in order oh. to get it. I could taunt some other stuff. This gives adjacent minions plus one plus one and taunt. So okay. in theory, I can like sell this and give some stuff taunt. So what? I would sell the Mechano oh, egg. Okay, yeah, you don't need it right now. Yeah, the Mechano egg offers no, uh, let's see. I just don't know if, is it worth it? I don't think so. We'll do one more refresh. These are terrible. One more. Oh, that's really good. Okay. The death rattle thing? This right here. <clears throat> death rattle's triggering. This makes oh, our, okay. oh wait, this was way better. I'm so dumb. Oh. Okay, we freeze <laughs> this. One sec. You have to leave I'll... with your choices. <laughs> Okay, yep, I have to live with my choices. So this would have made my death rattle trigger twice. Now, I was thinking about these, which these summon a bunch of rats. Right. But the problem is, is that I don't have room for, like, you know, it summons rats equal to this thing's attack. Well, it has 14 attack. I have seven spaces on the board. Mm -hmm. I can't summon more rats. Yeah, but like, yeah. but yeah. these gives plus four, four, plus four. So with that, it, they would each give plus eight, plus eight. So I messed up. And now we see... How, oh, this is really good for us. He, They put this swiper here. And the thing about the swiper is that... Though having this here was bad. Bad news bears. Please don't hit. Oh, that was our best minion. Yeah, it's over. Probably. Probably. Yeah. We needed to make a bunch of big boys from this, but we didn't. So now it's gonna be really hard. They're just two twos. Yep. This is this is over. Well, okay. So we now we have a hope, which is this. Top four is all you need to go oh, okay. up in the MMR, right? Because oh, there's no. eight players, so it's like top half is like sure. good. And you get more MMR based on how on where you place. 
So we, in theory, can still get fourth because we had more health than this person. And that's how that's gotcha. how it's kind of So if they die, uh -huh. we're fine. Okay. So we'll see. Or at least we'll go up in MMR. And I'm really close to 6,000, so I really want to get there. But that, it won't happen right now. Even if we even if we get fourth, we're going to get like two. But this was literally the result of me not buy, of buying the wrong minion last uh, round. Yeah, you've got four. Yes! So we get plus 17. All right. So that's our first round. So each cool. game kind of ends up playing out quite differently be for a couple reasons. One, your hero is different. Yeah. So you end up with a different um, different power, right, that's buffing your thing. So there, we really, especially in the early game, we were hunting for battle cry minions because they were basically an additional plus one, plus one on their stats. Hmm. I hate Trade Pinch Grallywax. I think he's one of the worst heroes in the game. You spend a coin to gain a coin. Now, in theory, it's like investment, right? Like, you, like you're like you paying coins in the early turns so you sure. can spend them later. But, like, coins are coins. Like, just spend them when you have them and you'll be fine. Like, I guess I just don't know how to play it well. Mm. Like, I think the point is, like, what... Um, Syndragosa is new, right? Syndragosa is awesome. I, I like Syndragosa actually quite a bit. So, Syndragosa, at the end of the turn, frozen minions get plus one, plus one. Oh. So, what you do is, you just keep freezing the early boards. Yeah. And, and that way, a, you just buy, like, a big minion with plus three, plus three in stats. And she was a, like, uh, later me like, a later hero added to Battlegrounds. Uh, like, they are, it's in beta, so they're, like, updating and mm -hmm. making, like, right. balance changes and, like, adding new heroes. Uh -huh. Yeah. And she was, like, released uh, some days ago, like, last week. Or Here we have a kind of the constant push-pull between the right now and the later. Mm. And so... I'm taking the right now. So the the alternative would be this one where we play demon, deal one damage to our hero, but this gets plus two, plus two. Very strong with demons. This is a demon. Yeah. So in theory, I want to play this before I play this, okay. but this is a 1-1, one, one, which is going to lose to like anything, anything anyone plays sure. in the early turns. Well, this is a 2-4, so this is going to eat whatever this person played, right? right? Like, or at least tie, right? And tying is good because a bunch of other people are taking damage, but I wasn't. So tying is, you generally, you don't, you don't frown upon a tie. Okay. Um, and then so what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade and we're going to freeze again. And we got pretty lucky because this is a 2-1, but it summons a little 1-1. And next turn we're only going to have 5 gold. And so we have to sell something in order to buy 2. Mm -hmm. But if we get a little 1-1, one, one, well then we buy this, sell the little 1-1, one, one, and buy another thing. Because we'll have effectively okay. 6 gold. Yeah, that so sense. that's a very basic like early game understanding of Battlegrounds. Economics. Is getting getting <laughs> some sort of uh, what's called a token generator. Okay. Um, so that way you can, uh, you know, you can get get the guys you want. We're, are we gonna keep making this micro machine bigger every turn? I don't know which one of these I even want. Do I want the micro machine or do I want the tie collar next turn? I go for yeah. Mac. This. You want to go for Mac? I love Max. So we went here because we had a two four, but our one one would have lost both of the last rounds, which wouldn't have been a big deal because right the number of stars is very low, but it adds up a little bit, right? Being at thirty eight is better. All right. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we're... All right. Here's what we would do. I love this song. Yeah, the, I, the Murloc sound is very iconic. Um, keep freezing. We want these guys. This guy, is. we just want him to keep getting bigger every turn. Even though he's on, like, a micro-machine. Yeah, he's not... <laughs> Really, the reason why we froze this board isn't because there's any good synergies there. In fact, those are all minions we will sell eventually. Every minion on the board right now. But, early game, you just don't want to be taking damage. Typically, you don't want to like, try to commit to a strategy on like turn 4 or 5. Because like, okay. you just don't... I can't believe we lost. Oh my gosh. We are like very strong. Okay, so now we cross our fingers and we say, no, no, AFK. That's what we're hoping. AFK is one of the strongest heroes in terms like 4 through 6 because their hero power is skip the first two turns, but then you start with a tier 3 and tier 4 oh, minion. Wow. Yeah. Um, Alright, so here, let's see what we want to do. This is good. This is pretty good with our comp, and then Micro Machine is just strong because it's a 4 5. So this makes gives all our minions our Murlocs plus 2 attack. Hmm. Um. Which means that like these two Murlocs, instead of being a you know a four four is a six four and this one is a five two instead of a three two so um, I'm not going to freeze this well 
This no, could be I a wouldn't. five five. But yeah, I wouldn't. But like, even if you build it, if you go with the demon build, this minion is not gonna be like playing. That minion is really good in the demon build. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm. Well, okay. I've won games on the back of that. But anyways, let's see. This one's looking a little more favorable. We'll see. That was a good trade for us. So you want things to hit things and not die, right? So right. if something is like one health remaining, you're pretty satisfied because it's going to hit something else, right? right. Um, and so like that, but like you don't really have a lot of control over like the battle, not for obvious reasons. All right, let's see. We could have had a five-five one of these, Dan. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm making fun of you. Um, so here we just we're gonna go by raw stats. So one we want to upgrade because you know now generally we want to keep buying minions until our board is full. It's not really good to sell minions in the early game because then you're you're just weakening yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Like um, you only want to sell things once you need the space. So I bought this because okay. it gives my other mechs plus two attack, and I figure that giving this plus two attack is that makes it a kind of effectively a five three in stats, right? As opposed to a, this which was a four four. Which is not bad, but not as good as a 5-3, I guess. I don't know, 4-4 and 5-3 are pretty much the same. But at least we have this nice big 7-5 Micro Machine. Oh, we're play, play, playing Ragnaros, and they beat AFK last turn. That's pretty crazy. Oh, a lot of Divine Shields. So what we want to do is, we're, yep, we're happy that our first two minions just traded with the Divine Shields. I think we're going to beat yeah, them. Yeah. Daniel says it's over before I think it's over. <laughs> but we, we beat them, yeah. Pretty... Uh, with our biggest minions surviving, so yeah. like that was pretty likely gonna be even if they had like a couple extra minions We might have still won that All right, so now we're on tier three. I Really like this minion a lot. It's kind of versatile whenever you play a battle cry gain plus one plus one yeah. mm. So I like that Now we're gonna go ahead and refresh <laughs> It's all death rattles <laughs> all, Yeah, death rattles not death rattle and battle cry are kind of the two basic things right like okay. in, in in tier five You've got one minion that has your battle cry trigger twice You've got one minion that says your death rattles trigger twice So they tend to be like opposites right battle mm -hmm. cry is when it comes into play death rattle is when it leaves play mm -hmm. Um, so I really want to play this But like it was funny because you just bought a minion that like tribes on battle cry and then you refresh to like all uh, death rattles <laughs> This minion is super effective in this game because, like, this minion that Eric bought, like... Yeah, yeah. so this is the Nightmare Amalgam, yeah. And so its tribe is all. Like, where this is, like, a Murloc or this is a mech, it's all of them. So it's just a versatile oh, okay. minion. No matter where we go, you generally want to have that yeah. minion around. All, all effects apply to this, to, to this Our minion. opponent is really strong. I think we lose this. No. We also didn't get the best of trades. But that's okay. Only a two star survives, and our opponent's at what? They're they're at two, so uh, only four damage. Not not the worst. We'll probably drop down to like. Oh no, we didn't even drop down. Everyone below below us also died. <laughs> okay, so I like this because it but it's fundamentally it gives this plus two plus two because that's what its battle cry is, and then it also will give this plus one plus one because it's a battle cry. Um, <coughs> and I think we're we're. Playing against Sir McFinley, who has lost the last two rounds, so we feel comfortable tavern tearing up as well. So I'm gonna buy this, and then I have to sell a minion. The tiger. And the tiger is my weakest minion, right? So I'll sell that, and then we're gonna refresh. Ooh, Cave Hydra. Um, Cave Hydra was really good last round because we were going beasts, but this round it's not as useful because um, we don't we we don't really have much in the way of. We don't have any way to buff this immediately, and so it doesn't really synergize with our current strategy. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how else Sir McKinley. They're still tier two, actually. They haven't even. We're tier four. Wow, that's surprising to me. All right, we popped that up. That was a good hit for us. That was our biggest health minion. That was a bad hit for us. Wow. Okay. We just beat the guy in first place and then lost to a guy in the middle. But that's okay. They're tier two, so they're taking, a, they're sacrificing a lot of. Uh, there's always in every strategy game, if you, if it's worth its salt, there's a balance between long term g gains and like mm -hmm. short term be like benefits, right? Mm -hmm. And this person is like still tier two, so they're like going all in on short term benefits. But in theory, we're gonna outscale them pretty easily because we're way ahead of them in terms of the tavern tiers. Okay. Now we could buy this and go for a triple, which I'm not opposed to, so I'm gonna do it. And then we're gonna refresh. And none of these are really 
They're not really exciting me. I kind of want another battle cry. This is good. We could go for mechs with this if we wanted. Mm. Seems a long shot. Why? I don't know, like... Is this, like, the best minion to build, like, the entire build upon, like... Yes, this is, like, the best minion in the game. Um, alright, so what we do is we're gonna do that. We're gonna buy this for next round, and we're gonna buff that. And then we, are, we have to do some maneuvering around of different things. Okay. Keep up the momentum, friends. So the reason why I kept I these two is because we now we have we have we have the possibility for two triples. We're gonna we might take some damage here, but we're we're setting up. Oh, that was a, those were terrible hits. Ugh. Kill this, kill. Uh, darn it. This will die. Okay, so that's four or five. Oh my gosh, we're taking a lot. I'm surprised at how much damage we're taking right now. We I think we just hit two people who are, like in their. I don't know, Prime. Wow, we're okay. So we're we're now in do or die. So now we're just trying to make the best board possible. This is really good for us with our current board. Um, all right, so that's a refresh. No, yes. That's an almost yes. We're fighting Yogg, who beat Rat King by six, but lost to Ragnaros by nine. Um, or this. I could probably get both. Play this. We play this. We play. We can't play that. Yeah, I was wondering. Sell the tiger. No. I'm making it. I'll make a decision in just a sec. Like this. How many things do we have to sell? One, two. So. Um. Let's go ahead and just do a refresh. Okay. So then we do. Wait, yeah, we're just playing the crowd favorite. Do a quick refresh. All right, now we need to order our board. We want this to go, like. Should you you're gonna freeze? Yes. <sighs> Stressful. <laughs> so this, whenever we summon a mech, it gains divine shield. This summons a mech when it takes damage. So ideally, what our goal is. Here oh my gosh! Oh, no. they, that's called the snipes. Oh, and that was terrible too. Okay, so we, we are going to lose, and it's not our... I'm just going to be honest, it's not really our fault. We got unlucky in every possible way. Darn. We're not very weak. It just kind of stinks that we lost the last three rounds by a bunch. It stinks that we lose. Like, we at eight, you know, you can imagine we could have survived. Darn it. That was unfortunate. And we lose a ton because we got last place, but that's okay. If Chad has any questions you can ask. So, what are your first impressions of this game mode? Have you Without... played other auto chess games? No. Okay, so this is your first introduction to the whole genre. Yeah. And so I find it really interesting that the battle order is automated. So I feel like that is like a crucial part or element of this kind of game. Yeah. I hate both of these movies <laughs> so much. These are like my two least favorites. Um, what do you think? What would you pick? I don't know. Um, the pyramid sounds better to like to build a defense on the early game. I don't know. Yeah, I think pyramid's really bad. <laughs> yeah, but like, but the, the other one's bad too. Yeah. There was no choice. Go ahead, continue. Yeah. I do really like it. Like, I, I find it really interesting. Um, and maybe it's just because it's a new kind of game I haven't played before. And that's always exciting. Um, I like the complexity, too. So I feel like this has a decently steep learning curve just in terms of, like, understanding what everything is and kind of becoming more familiar with all the minions. Mm -hmm. And definitely becoming familiar with what what's important to be looking at mm -hmm. on this UI. Cause there's a lot going on mm -hmm. yeah yeah one thing to note that like makes this a lot easier for someone like me and daniel is that almost every minion in this game is a normal minion in hearthstone that makes sense. so like like direwolf alpha and vulgar homunculus 
Like, those are just minions that I already know what they do before I play them. Like, I could just see that picture and know stats and, like, everything. And so it's all, the, like, all of it is the same? Um, there are some unique minions to okay. the game mode. And the tavern tier, so like, normally this would be a two-cost uh, two minion. Mm -hmm. This would be a one-cost, and this is a two-cost minion. Um, and, the, like, because her regular person uses mana, not gold. But because everything's right. three, they're divided into these tiers instead. Okay. Um, and so normal Hearthstone also doesn't have any of this UI or any of this stuff on the side. It has something like this on the side, but instead of showing like scores or whatever, or it shows like the most recent cards played by each player. Okay. Um, similarly, this is the end turn mechanic in regular Hearthstone, but this is still like a pretty much the same. It's a remediation of the Hearthstone, yeah. normal Hearthstone thing. Mm -hmm. So we'll win this one, so that's good. And I don't know how you guys feel about it, but like, I always, like, one thing that I do like freeze about last round? Hearthstone in comparison to like, Magic, is the quality of the UI, like, even Magic Arena, which mm -hmm. is so much better, like, the UI in Blizzard stuff is so... It just is. Yeah, it's so, yeah. it's so bad, it's so much, so much, like, it's so engaging clean. and like, clear and yeah. like, yeah, I totally agree. Like, having played the Magic Arena game as my first game of that style, too, um, that was one of the things that we talked about. It's like the UI is, or the, the kind of, like, process of teaching you how to play the game yeah. totally disregards the UI. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and uh, let me tell you something. Like, the UI in Arena is much better than other, like, Magic computer games. Yeah. yeah. Much better. So... The thing about Hearthstone, I think, that makes it better is that Hearthstone is designed from the start, right, to be yeah. um, a, like a simple game that's easy to, like, is accessible from this way, right? Mm -hmm. It's designed as a mobile game and as a computer game at the same time. Nice Which is so interesting out. because usually that transfer is awful. If something is designed for mobile and then it works onto desktop or vice versa, usually it's just Go for Demon. Just demon. The thing is, is that we're, like, we buy this, we're committing to Demons, but I, if, if these were better minions, I would say no demon. Because, like, this is after we play a demon, it, we, it gains stats. But we've already played the demon, so it doesn't have any tangible benefit right now. No, right now, but, like... But, in theory, if we get more demons, it's better. Because, like, on you know, the first game, we tried to build, like, the beast uh -huh. synergy. On the second game, build the max synergy. Maybe we could try to build, like, a demon. I synergy. hate... That's not, how you, that's not how you play this game. You can't, like, think on turn four... <laughs> All right, know, I'm man. going for demons this game. You really have to stay flexible. Ooh, that was a kind of a crummy hit for us. Um, okay, so we lose this. There's no hope. There's no hope. <laughs> uh, this person, we just didn't have the attack. So, like, stuff kept living after hitting our right. stuff because our stuff had only two attack. Like, this had four health, this had three health, that had four health. It's okay. We. It depends on who we face, but we might not want to upgrade here. No, we'll upgrade against the guy in last. Ooh. Triple. So now we get a four. This is this is what you're always looking for. You like because now we upgraded and we play a minion on the same turn. Mm -hmm. So now we're guaranteed to get a tier four minion. Okay. And these are terrible. All right. So this is good and this is good. Um, these are bad because we they're not they're not demons, but they're actually right. really aren't tier four demons, so we can't complain too much. Okay. Um, yeah. Maybe the the death rattle. I think I prefer the rover. Okay. Because we could we could transition into mech in, into mech if necessary. Like this is a very good. The other the so the difference between those the the choices we had there was mm -hmm. the difference that we've been talking about between long term gains and short term. The six four that summons a random four drop is probably better this turn than mm -hmm. this two six is. But you never really build your strategy around that that six four. This guy's super big. Holy guacamole, Batman! The good news is that we're gonna be we're gonna probably summon at least we're gonna summon a couple of these guys. That's good. Oh, uh, can't lose. Can't lose. We. Yes. Nice. We did it. But there, that guy was actually really useful. If you think about it, it was a 2 6 that summoned a 2 2 yeah. 3, so mm -hmm. it was like a plus 4 6. Alright, these are all tier 1 except for this, and this thing isn't that good. We're gonna refresh. This gives our demons plus 1 plus 1, but we only have one demon, and it isn't a demon itself, so it doesn't buff this, so it's not very good. Mm -hmm. Uh. That's good. Yeah. Like oh, the, the, the thing that, like, when that we're playing the person here. All right. We're going to do something risky. 
All right, so so this has oh that is magnetic. So what it does is you can play it as a minion, or you can magnetize it to one of your other okay. mechs. So now that we made this a little bit bigger, so to, the big thing is now it has way more attack, which is really right, useful. Yeah. Um, and health it, as well because like, one health though, not no, very. But, I mean, like, but this thing needs health to like just stay alive. Yeah, because yeah, because you know we just want this to take damage multiple times, mm -hmm. if if possible. This is good. Oh, th th all right. This is bad. So these, whenever a demon dies, it does three damage to one of my things. Mm -hmm. Kill one of these! It's not gonna happen. And now that's... Oh. That's gonna be another demon dies. We lose. Alright, we can't possibly win. Hit there, yes. Nice. Okay, that was a good final hit for us. You can... Right. Like, the math is too complicated, right, <laughs> to know what's gonna happen necessarily in the very beginning. Yeah. But... You can, like, there's so much heuristics in this game, which is probably one thing we could talk about, is you have to do... Ooh, Replicating Menace. Ooh, that's kind of good. So, the, uh, this minion that we bought, we, we, we were long, again, long-term games, mm -hmm. games, because... We're 21? How the heck have we taken so much damage? Ugh. Alright, so we're gonna get this. We're gonna play this. And remember, this is a mech because it's all of them. So now we can magnetize it. And it was also a demon, because... Yeah, you forgot about that, right? I did forget about it a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and re rearrange our board like this, I think. This seems fine. No, you should put the red first, right? The red is like just... No, we don't want to put the red first because if they have a big taunt, then all of these attacks are, are wasted because like it'll just be a bunch of 1-1s one running into the taunt and then oh, okay, this 5-7 sure, sure, or something sure. will take care of it. If they have something with Divine Shield, I'm okay with this hitting it because it will summon a little taunt with it right away. And then we wanted to separate these two because they both are going to summon three 1-1 one, one mechs when they die, so we want them to die apart from each other. Let's see. This person is not overly strong, but this eight... See, this is exactly what I was worried about. Yeah. That, this is... That's good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Four. That's eight health, and we have... We have... I think... I think we... we oh, that was a bit... We tied. We tied. Yeah. We, were, we tied our one, depending on where that final attack went, but we just don't want to take damage because we're at 20. So, uh, the Soul Juggler's bad. Rat Pack is kind of... I don't really want to go for the Rat Pack triple because it's not... Like, the Rat Pack does nothing for us right now. Yeah. We're kind of looking for more mech stuff. If, yeah, sure, if, sure. That's not, that's, this is literally the definition of mech stuff. <laughs> this is pretty good, too. This would give this plus two, plus two in taunt, so we'll go ahead. Oh, we're fighting the guy in first. This is really good. So we, oh yeah. So what we do is we do this, and we sell the battle card because right? like we wanted it mostly for that buff. And we buy this, and then we can give him friendly mech plus two plus two. So we're gonna buff this up, and we're gonna go ahead and give. I love this effect. Yeah. We're gonna buff this because it does not have taunt, and then we're gonna move it back to the back of the back of the line. Uh. <laughs> So here, one thing that we're gonna do is just kind of funny is we're gonna put this two five first because if our opponent has a divine shield taunt, then we pop it with this little guy right rather than attacking it with one of our big minions right because the divine shield is gonna you know, but I, I I suspect we're gonna take some damage here. Well, actually they haven't been winning by that much, so maybe that they they just have they're just a narrowly oh narrowly good. Let's see. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see. They went to tier four too. All right. Oh, bad. Oh. This is bad. So, please sit here. Lucky. Darn it. That was, that was about as bad as it could have gone. Um. Oh. Let's see. This can still do put in so much work. I just want to make that clear. This thing could like win us the game still at this point. That's really good. We want this to be just to be taking like one damage increments. Bad. Darn it. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, let's see. Five. I don't think we can win, but we can reduce it down to just just this minion left at the very end. Which is practically guaranteed. Yep. Hey, we only lost by three health. Yeah, nice. that's not bad. So, the only problem is, is we still take six damage. Like, so, like... You know, that's the problem with... You can, like, be, feel good about not losing by much, but you still lost. <laughs> Alright, uh, these are not very useful. This is not very good. 
We really need to get, like, the good mechs. These are not the good mechs. I'm not gonna get those. Go ahead, pile one of these <laughs> oh, 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 okay, okay, actually. Oh, we're playing the dead guy, so yeah, should be fine. I'm upgrading to Tavern 2-5. We're playing the person who died last round, and so I'm confident that we will, we, we should hopefully beat them. So I, I took a risk by going up to 5 so that we can get better options for next turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if, we get a, if we get a triple at 5, we get a tier 6 minion. And all the tier right. 6 minions are... That's the highest tier you can go yeah. to. Okay. The so, so the best minions are there. And specifically, there's a cleave mech. Which is would be which would be really good. Okay. Though right now we don't have any reason to have mechs. We just have a like a smorgasbord of minions <laughs> right now. We have not had. We don't. We don't really have our strategy. We got a beast. We got a big mech. We got the ma amalgam, which is good because it's all of them. Mm -hmm. We got this guy who busts or gets buffed by demons. We have one demon. We have this mech. It's kind of just a it's mess. Mechish. It's a mess. <laughs> I'm gonna. I move this back because I don't. I don't know if this guy has a divine shield. And so I'm willing to attack with this first. Last round we got hurt. We actually would have. I think one last round. Oh yeah, that's really good. Oh, ooh, this guy's strong. Did we lose this? Cause this thing is sixteen. This thing is sixteen. Oh my goodness. I don't think we can lose. Oh wait, are are we guaranteed to lose? Well, all right, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So all that matters is whether yeah we tie. Tied the dead man, but we're tier five. That's we knew we yeah. weren't buying minions last round, so that True. we could get to tier five and hopefully find Ooh, junk bots. Nice. Good security nice. rovers. Good. Those nice. are both really good. This is actually okay, but I think I want to. I think I can do better. Yeah, you can do better. That's really good. Yeah. Okay, so now we need to uh, sell some stuff. So you should sell the wretch. No. No. Absolutely not. Why? Um, because the rat gets buffed by this. So at the end oh, of my yeah, turn, yeah, yeah. you're friendly. This is a yeah. really good late game card. Give a friendly mech, murloc, demon, and beast plus two plus two. So now we get, we're going for what's called a, a menagerie strategy, which is you want one of each. Okay. So this counts as one. This is one. These two, these are all ones. So then we're, we're going to sell this, and we're going to sell this to place this, this, and this into the board. And we have enough to do one reroll and to buff one of our minions. We freeze because this getting the buffs from this is amazing. We put this one over. Um, we put this one over. In fact, we uh, this is probably bad. This rat pack is actually not doing much this turn. But um, but um, so oh, okay. Let's just hope we don't die. <laughs> they have two poisonous minions. It's just they're they're way stronger than us. I don't. They're darn it. Wow, we're just like really. Damn. That didn't. No, it killed their thing. Our thing didn't die. Oh, okay. So that's really it. That's that's good. That means that this will eat the next attack. It really depends on this thing is a twenty three thirty and it has poisonous, so it's we're, we're just boned. Poisonous means just kills whatever it hits. It doesn't matter oh, what the wow. attack what the attack oh. is. We are not gonna die though. These are all relatively low tier minions, and this will kill one of these two. Thank you. And we could in theory kill this as well. So these are just tier twos. Uh, all right, why don't you hit this? I command you. What uh, is my purpose? I don't know. We we've got it. We got it because no matter what this hits, this one attacks <laughs> next. This guy is in. I think they're in cahoots to possibly win it all. They have all like two yeah, two like wild. a twenty three like a thirty health poison. This minion is very good. But hey, we got sixth place so far. We're fighting the person in the next place, so we buy this because it's a beast that will get buffed by this. Now we're gonna look for maybe this triple. We buy this every time. Something's gotta go. <laughs> Reinforcements requested. Nice. Ooh. I Ooh. hope we 
we survive this. Me too. Oh, shoot. We want this tutu to eat a cleave. That's, that's a, that, that is its purpose other than... <laughs> they don't have a cleave, though, so we're up. We're up. So, as noted before... Oh, our guy was just... And that's uh, poisonous, so they, they, ate our, they ate our taunts, so this is bad. You hit there! I commanded you and you failed me! Okay, this is gonna keep getting bigger, so that's good. This is the hyena just... Oh, this is, this is terrible. Uh, this thing's gonna keep summoning max. Darn it, that thing survived twice with one health. Was unfortunate. We haven't had a real good tour de force round. We got this Life Fang Enforcer, which was really good, but we got it just a little late. Mm -hmm. um, life, cause life Fang Enforcer is a really good carry, though, because like if you're getting that like, plus two every turn and you have it goes for like five or six turns, that's so huge. That's like plus 50 50 stats, right? Oh, like, okay. so like it's you know, it can be really crazy good. Uh, but so far, we haven't just had like what I would call like a really stellar opening. Stellar opening is usually a coming to form of a couple different things. One, getting a Nightmare Amalgam or on in the early game. All right, I like Jaraxxus. Um, we're going for demons, it looks like. So Nightmare Amalgam is that one minion that can do anything, right? It's all the, it's all the tribes. Mm -hmm. Getting that early can be really good because it opens up you just kind of doing whatever you want. Um, because you can feel free, like, oh, I'm going for Murlocs right now. Well, I keep buffing that guy, right? right. So it doesn't matter if I swap strategies because that guy will still be part of my roster. And he got all those buffs from before. As you don't want to be investing things on turn like 5 and 6 that aren't helping you on turns 10 and 11, right? And so that that's like a part of the like the long-term thing. Normally, I, I don't know, I think I'm pretty good at this game. I have a pretty high MMR, but we just haven't, you know, we haven't had a really good... This is my favorite hero, though, AFK. Sorry, Eric, I feel that I'm, like, getting in the way of No, nah, like, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> so, as always... Even though we have a demon synergy guy here, um, <laughs> the tokens just... Well, actually, no, we don't need... We're going to take a risk. So we know we win this because we're playing AFK. AFK skips the first two turns. I love right. the name so of the we can t we're, we're taking a slight long-term... We're taking a long-term risk. like to or We're taking a short-term risk by taking the 1-1, one -one, but we know we win the next round. Right. So there's no so there's no like impetus. Now this does summon a little one one, but um but like we're Jaraxxus. I wear here powers give our demons plus one plus mm. one. So we just kinda wanna go for demons. Makes sense. The best thing you can do in the whole game is play AFK on turn two. Because you can't play the same opponent twice. And so and, and you never want to play AFK on turn three, because that's when sure. that's when they get their huge power bump. <laughs> I love triple, so... But I mean, no, you should upgrade on turn... Normally you should. That's super risky, but like... I like this because I can get... I can get... I can buy this, sell the little guy, and buy this, and I get an opportunity for something else. Mm -hmm. But, and then if we've got two of these and we get one demon, each, that's a plus four, plus four to our board. Yeah. Two demons and we're just, we're cooking. So, we need to find the demons, but thanks, thanks, Bob. I knew we were going to lose this one. Curator's always really strong in the early game because they start with an extra 1-1. One, one. They get a 1, like, you know that 3-4 everything? They get yeah. a 1-1 one, one everything to start the game. I think they're one of the better heroes as a result. Hmm. Um, very flexible. Okay, so we buy this. We, we, we put it into play. And to much to Daniel's chagrin, we are not freezing this board for this triple, <laughs> because we need a demon. So we're gonna. No, we, sure, I agree. Yeah. I agree. I wouldn't. We're fighting AFK, and oh, we oh, got AFK no. in turn three. Well, we were always gonna lose, so we're just gonna lose by a lot. <laughs> the problem is, is like yeah, like one thing I like about this game mode is that losses are not equal. Like, you can hit somebody for like twenty points of damage. Yeah. And I think that that's important in this style of game because it makes it so players don't aggress like overly aggressively go for a late game strategy because like mm -hmm. you could take oh a lot God. of damage. Just hit this, thank you. Actually, we could have actually it probably was better to hit this and then have that suicide. Take nine, okay, we're okay. 
We're in last place. We're okay. Welcome back. Hello. Please, game, give me good. <laughs> yeah. So this thing buffs a demon. We don't have any demons to buff, but it's a demon, so we buffed these. Mm -hmm. So we did it even though it's not a good turn for it. So uh, you usually want to put your high health things first, because then they're more likely to get two attacks. But you put this one first because it deals four to a random enemy minion. Oh, and okay. so and we wanted to hopefully snipe something, you know, big or some, or whatever early on. We can... This person beat Curator who crushed us, so I'm not... I'm not... That but we are way stronger now with, like... Like, it's worth noting that... Ugh. Oh, no. We can't lose. Okay, good. So, um, well, presume, well, to be fair, we lost the Curator two rounds ago. Think, oh, like, okay. The That's Curator right. could have not gotten much stronger. Um, this is a demon. We do this. We buff our demon. So then now these are five fives. These are these so these things growing is good. They do damage to us, which is so it's it's kind of risky. This person looks strong because they haven't taken any damage, but no, they've played the same person twice and sure. tied both those times. So it's not like oh no, they're like over overpowered. Like we yeah. have no idea. Maybe both of these guys just are not very strong, but they just <laughs> keep hitting each other right and tying. You know, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm confident, though, we're not... Oh, wait, we want it like this, because these have higher health than this. Right. This 2-4 is not going to do much for us. The best thing we can hope is that it eats some token hits, right? Okay. Um, so 2-2... Two, two, I like this 2-2 two, two in the early game. Ooh, that wasn't a great hit for us. That was, a, that was a pretty good hit. That was a really good hit, because, like, we took out their biggest attack minion mm -hmm. and left and left this up with one, one health, which then, of course, made that trade so that these didn't have to. So right. that... So... Demons are like we're low on health, but demons are the you want to be low on health when you're de with your, when you're with demons, kind of. Uh, this is not an inspiring board to me. I could in theory take this, which gives all these minions plus one plus one, but I think it's better right now to just refresh. If we get one of these, we get to upgrade. So like, there's a lot. Right. No demons. Oh my god. No demons. Game. Well, now we're kind of all in on, um, Beast Merlot. Oh, yeah. Right, we're just gonna look for a demon. Really? Man. I mean, you could refresh one more and then sell the bot afterwards. Yo. Oh. Are there just not many demons? No, we're just dumb. Sorry. Uh. I mean... You should listen. You shouldn't listen to my advice at all. What's your MMR again? <laughs> oh wow! wow. I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, hit one of these. Terrible. Good hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So we're we're doing this on purpose. We're we're sandbagging. We want to get to a lower MMR so we can beat people. <laughs> Thank you, game. We wasted last turn. It was really bad. Uh, we want something like this. This new demon generates more demons. Yes, but it doesn't affect because these are when you play a demon, so you have to play it from your hand. This is what summons demons, so they just so that it doesn't matter. <laughs> but. What we, what we want is we want to get Soul Juggler. Soul Juggler, you've seen him before when we, we fought people with him. That when a demon dies, it shoots out and hits other enemies. Oh, yeah. And so this is really good with that because it summons little 1-1 one, one demons, right? So, like, you want, like, little 1-1 one, one demons are perfect with that strategy. So, ideally, hopefully, we win this round. We beat Patches three rounds ago. So, maybe we'll beat him again. So, let's go over, like, some of the hero powers just so uh, you can be a little more in the know. Yogg's hero power is at a rent two mana or two gold to like... Daniel wants to just watch. <laughs> yeah, like, this, I mean, this guy's got a tier five minion. You don't care about like what's happening? Not really. You can't really control it very well. I think we It depends on if this where this goes. We win. Okay, cool. 
So, uh, two gold to hire a random minion and give it plus one, plus one. So it's random, but it's cheaper okay. than a normal one. So it's pretty good. Right. Keter starts with that one, one guy. Brand we've had in the past. AFK, you know. Uh, I Do you see anything with the demon tag? Answer, daily double. No. <laughs> so, this has the demon tag, but it's crap. It's a, it's a tier one minion. It's a one, three. It's really bad. Um... Come on, give me a soul juggler or something game. Oh, yes, that's nice. good. That's a triple, so we take it. Buffs this, nice. now, and now, now we can give another demon plus four plus four. These will buff our guys, so that's good. This oh. is, that's really good. Our hero is immune, so we can no longer take damage from these. Man, that was oh. so, so lucky. Yeah, that's awesome. Don't call it luck when it was all skill. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, Put man. this up first. That's, that's solid. So now we got a lot of stats. Oh my god. A lot of stats is good, but it's bad against poisonous, so we'll see how it goes. That was a swing turn, alright. They don't have poisonous, so it's fine. That was a really great hit for them. Of course. All right, you're... Is it? Yeah. All right, we win. Awesome. All right. So, now the nice thing. Now, here's what we want to do with Teractus. We know we have a secret strategy. A secret long-term plan. Let's see, how does this guy doing? Not too good. Beat a dead person, then tied somebody, and then lost. So, I don't consider beating a dead person to be particularly... Beating a dead person means sometimes somebody ha like right there's four combats going on every time, mm -hmm. so somebody has to fight this person. Okay. All right, we're looking for demons, so I don't see a demon here. Um, nice. Yes, yeah, so that's a triple, so that's really good. And there's this, so that's that's like really excellent. So Ooh. that's big. And whenever we play a demon, it gets plus four, plus four. So that's gonna keep getting bigger. Uh. Light Fang is not good because we oh shoot, uh, this is the best one. Well, actually, it wasn't, but uh, we do this. We play this. I'm gonna do this. And play this. And then I could do. It's, it's not worth it. I'll save the two gold for next round. Um, I wanna avoid my minions getting hit by. Oh! Ugh, this, this is a bad order. This is a bad order because these wanna summon minions and they won't be able to because there's no space. Kill the poisonous minion. If, if this 30 30 doesn't hit. If, as long as the poisonous minion dies before. Shoot, nice. one health. No. Oh, of course. Really? All right, uh, we win. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So, like, yeah, you want. So the reason why we put that near the end was we didn't want it running into a poisonous minion. A lot mm -hmm. of times, this, someone will try to put taunt and poisonous on the minion to eliminate your first couple minions. Okay. Um. I don't see any demons here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and refresh. This is good. Give our demons plus one, plus one. It's not really that good. It's like our hero power, but it costs one more. Uh, anyways, no demons. No demons. That is a demon. This is called super sneaky strategy. We do this, give all of our demons plus one, plus one. Then we do this, we play this little demon, then we give all our demons plus one, plus one. Now the little demon just buffed this, and we buffed all these, oh yeah, okay. This goes first, then this, then this. Actually no, we, we probably want like, we probably want this here, and then this here. So the reason why we want these attacking it later, or but before this, is because these will summon little three threes. Our little one ones, and now this buffs all our demons by plus two plus two. So the one ones are three threes. So presumably that's that's just better for us if they're three threes when they attack. That's a fourteen fourteen. Ah, we got him, and our thing didn't die. We got him, and our thing didn't die. That 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 time we didn't get. Ah, uh, yes yes thirty thirty. All right, we win. <laughs> all right, three three. You know what to do. Good job. <laughs> now our five w lived, so that's really good for us. Now there now here's one thing. There's a there's a demon in the at the five star. This, so we kinda wanna get to five stars sooner rather than later. The demon at the five star 
Okay. Gains health based. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is excellent. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. There are no demons at the sixth slot. So it's actually uh, okay. better for us to play this here and hope to get another Melganus or one of the five star demons. We didn't get one, but that's okay. Um, let's see. I know what we really want here, which is we need Soul Juggler. So these kind of all stink. I'm going to take the Light Fang Enforcer just because it stinks a little less. This, I don't think, is worth buying. No, the Soul Juggler. Yeah, oh yeah, we got the Soul Juggler and this. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to buff a demon. And what which demon are we going to buff? Uh, we'll buff this one. Then we do this, and we get we put this into play, and we're gonna put put this here. Oh, I don't know if that's worth it. Shoot, we made a minor mistake there. It's a we'll be okay, but we made a minor mistake. And let's see how many poisonous do they have? No poisonous. Nice. And this is really good. This is a cleave, but it has to hit the far left, so it and that's good. Oh darn it! Wait. Oh, that, that doesn't. Never mind. I thought it was a different mini than it is. What was really bad about that is it didn't kill the thing. That that was a good hit. Uh, no, it isn't. They win. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's exactly lethal. Man, today has kind of sucked. <laughs> oh, Eric, I'm so sorry. No, you don't have to be yeah, sorry. Cool. It's just like we haven't gotten very lucky. That's all. We were close. We were really close at the end there to like turning the corner, I'd say. Mm -hmm. But it didn't work out, and that's okay. <sighs> Let's see. I had some quotes from Giddens. <laughs> How do you feel about Giddens? I only read the introduction so far. I've been really sick, so I've been avoiding oh, yeah. it. Um, so maybe like I could share my thoughts on the next expansion, like. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that, and I'll just I'll play without commentary. Go ahead. Yeah, like. So I feel that the power level is so high, like. Just tell tell us what you mean by power level, because I think that like that's kind of a confusing term. Okay, for me, like the new cards are gonna play a huge part on like defining the new meta after the expansion. Like they are like they are power creep. I feel that they're power creeping like old cards um, and they're pushing like the dragon tribe super aggressively like their cards like that f uh, I forgot the name freeze something that like ups tempo like they're pushing the, the tribe to make it like and I feel that this is part of like their strategy in terms of like um, trying to address problems on like how other like past expansions were perceived mm -hmm. uh, so that's like how I feel about this expansion in general um, but at the same time like as a mage player I was like a little disappointed with like the cards because they are trying to push on like the elemental synergy but that didn't like work out like on the past so I don't know if like this is gonna be viable in a competitive scenario don't like on the next expansion, you know what I mean? Like, I feel they have a new elemental. Like, uh, forgot the name. The like, it's a eight. It's a eight eight cost eight, and then it reduces the cost if you play cards that uh, spells that didn't like start in, your start in your hand. So maybe that could combo into Conjurer's Calling at at some point. Like, because you can play it for zero mm -hmm. and Conjurer call it to, you know, eight eight minions. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if it's gonna be viable. Um, so yeah, I, I was hoping for more like dragon synergies from mage as well. I mean, you did get Malagos aspect of magic. That's to me one of the best cards. Yeah, in the whole yeah, set. I like Malagos. Yes, yes, that's for me the best card. Um, so okay, so let's let's dive into. You said you talked about two different things, which I find interesting. Or at least I think they're interesting to talk about from like a sociological perspective and games perspective and stuff. This is good. Um, so one is power level. I think I want you to kind of talk more about what you mean by power level without talking about the specific cards, but just what you what power level means to you. Nice work, what? Keep up the okay. 
We'll take it. So we play the alley cat before we buy the other upgraded, because the second you buy it, it's going to upgrade, and we would have missed out on this free 1-1. One -one. <laughs> so this is a 2-2 two -two that summons a... All right. Give us something good. We don't really care any... You know what? I'm going for it. <laughs> Shifter's there. Each turn transforms into a random minion. Maybe we'll get what? something amazing. <laughs> we, we did it once, but I don't think I read it to you. Anyways, so talk to me about power level, and then I want you to talk to me about class identity, and like, because like, you are mostly a mage player, if yes. I, correct me if I'm wrong. And so like for you, the mage cards have a, have an outweighed impact right on, on you particularly, because sure. like they really matter. Uh, all right, we took damage this turn to take Shifter Zera, so we'll see how that works out. <laughs> Continue, but so talk, okay, talk first. Level. Let's talk about power level. Okay. Because so, power level isn't something that comes up in like Overwatch, very much. This stinks. Um, um. Okay, power level. Like, I mean by power level, like, how can I? It's hard to explain actually. Like, I feel that the new cards are. When you compare them to like past expansions, they are generally more powerful. Like I feel that they are more powerful. It's not just like raw power in terms of like stats and whatever, but like I feel that they. Um, a good for ex example, for example, there's a new card that completely destroys your opponent armor. Yes. So this is like it could be seen as a tech card, but it's not just a tech card because it like. For example, in Warrior, like most of like the class identity of Warrior is building like armor and uh -huh. like leveraging it to like deal damage and whatever. And like when you have a card that like completely negate negates this effect, it could feel like overpowered. You know what I mean? So I feel that there are a lot of cards in the new expansion that can feel like that they are overpowered in a way that they negate effects for different classes. Or in the way that like they radically buff the rest of your strategy or your deck, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, and I, f in, in in my opinion, that was not something that they were doing in past expansions. Like I felt that in past expansions they were more like cautious in printing like super. I mean, it's just like theory because we don't know what's gonna happen when the cards arrive. Uh -huh. Actually, but, but it's like, perception matters a lot. Actually, I would say. Yeah, but like I feel that they are like they go they went crazy with this expansion. Like they were not like holding punches in printing cards that like could be seen as overpowered. You well, know what I mean? This person has very few cards. Um, so this is like my what I mean about power level. I feel that there are cards that like increase the overall power I level of the game better. like mm -hmm. a lot in this expansion but at the same time we're by the end of the year so cards are gonna rotate next year as well and I'm not gonna I, I'm not I don't I'm not sure how uh, it's gonna look like like on when like the rotation happens um, do you want me do you want me to talk about class identity now or like I have a question first. sure so the cards rotate yeah, like, so, like certain things are no longer available. Yeah, like Hearthstone has two game modes: standard and uh, wild. Mm -hmm. <laughs> standard, like in standard, you get to play the ne the, f the last three expansions or four. Eric. Neither. How? Okay, finish your play, and then explain. In standard, you play with all of the expansions since the last. It's rotation. like no, since the last rotation, which is not a set number of expansions, but the expansion. Yes, we we only win this. Be oh my gosh, they have a three twenty. What? what? The but we have usually three or four expansions per rotation, right? Uh, well, right now it'll be six expansions. For the for the for the next one, there will be six expansions in standard. Um, oh, okay. Uh, but it, it's like there's three expansions a year. Every April, the expansions from two years ago all rotate out at the same time. Okay. So oh, yeah, that's it. Gotcha. So yeah, this this is standard, and you also have like the classic set. Like it's a basic uh, set of cards, like neutral cards and class cards as well. Mm -hmm. So. Um, 
every when cards rotate out of standard, like the meta shifts shifts drastically because like now you cannot play this card, so you mm -hmm. have to like they they are releasing new cards and you have to adapt. Sure. Okay. And wild is the second game, and, and like standard is what is played like in 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 tournament and whatever. And in, in wild you can play like cards from whatever expansion, like for okay. all Hearthstone history. Okay. Uh, there are no restraints okay. in wild, oh. as far as I know, right? Um, no, There's, except for the cards that got nerfed in standard are still nerfed in wild. Yeah, but okay, that makes sense. you have like the whole like. Like just the whole library. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, we have rotations like every year. Okay. Every year. So um, yeah, like so, and I feel like like so power level also re relates to like what cards are in play in mm -hmm. standard. You know what I mean? And, and yeah. something that Blizzard does like sometimes they print new cards that have similar or same effects from. Cards that are in wild. Mm -hmm. that makes so sense. yeah, so because like some cards like are no longer viable, so they need to reprint with a different like. Um, so they because they never like get cards back from wild to standard. Okay. So for example, like you have a Morlock that give all your Morlocks like whatever buff. Mm -hmm. So this card is in wild now, so they can like print a new card that has like similar effects to. Sure get it back to standard, you know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, it's not like often that they do this, but like every new expansion, people usually like talk about, oh, so this the, this is this card, but yeah. renewed, you it's know what I mean? It's just the new version of this one. Exactly, thing, this right? happens, this usually happens. Um, and I feel, yeah, so my general expression is like, in this new like, rotation like the descent of dragon is gonna be like it's gonna increase the overall power of the cards so gotcha. so now some some just general thoughts based on what you just said oh give me a yeah snipe it good job buddy <laughs> all right kill something no that's the only thing you wouldn't have killed <laughs> oh my gosh you dumb dumb all right good job i think we win this let me look at it uh this could literally eat all of them, so yes. <laughs> Get out of my game. We bought this shifter Zeris and it has not been useful at all. So, first of all, um, okay, so we're still, we've been tier three this whole time, but we've, we're not dead, and that's all I wanted. All I want for Christmas is to not be dead. Um, find the person in first place who tied their la one of their, their last games, so maybe they're not that strong. Oh, come on. So then, is your your main concern then with like the increase of power level that once everything that kind of has balanced it so far gets out of rotation, the power level is just gonna shift, or are you more concerned about like longevity or just short term? No, I'm not. It's not a like. A, I'm like. I'm not like. Uh, how can I put it? Like, it's not that I feel that the increase of power level is bad. Because like it it can make the game feel much more exciting when you have like mm -hmm. overpowered cards in play. Sure. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, I'm I'm impressed by how they were like bold in I printing those cards like mm -hmm. with that of those effects. You know what I mean? So because like Blizzard, yeah, I mean like a lot of like criticism over the last uh, past expansions is that they are like. There wasn't like enough increasing power level. Yeah. You know what I mean? Power level is finicky because if power level is too high in a particular set, then ooh, not a great attack for us. Let's see how this goes. Kill something. Good job. Nice. I command you to. Ki There's three minions. You four minions you could kill. Good job. All right. I, I like love how you're like cheering for the minions. <laughs> The sad thing is this 8-5 is going to kill that and only summon one mech. But only one mech is all we need to give that guy Divine Shield. Good hit. Good good boy. <laughs> Left! No, not right. We lose. Because this will kill that and then he's going to summon a, a 2. Alright. So, it's okay. Uh, we got a little unlucky at the very end. But that's okay. Um, it was my own fault. Um... All right. Um, so like, if a power expansion level is too high, I don't want you. No. No. 
Yes. Yes. No. Well. Might as well buff all these guys up. Alright. Then this is the right order. Now we actually. Here. Alright. Actually, no. Go here. Okay. So power level is too high on a particular set. What can happen is, is like what happened is there's a set from 2018 called Cold Wolves and Catacombs. Or 2017. And what happened with kobolds and oh we were fighting someone who's dead. If I knew that, I wouldn't have tried so hard. <laughs> Though this person is like really strong still. Hit the two. Three. I can name. You. Good job. Uh, so that what happened with that expansion is that the power level. Oh. I think it was. Um, okay. Power level was really high, and it invalidated later expansions. And also, the, the power level of the one before that was also really high. So for two expansions in a row, the power level was so high that like on the next couple of expansions that came out... Those two are really good. Oh, that's a no for me, dog. <laughs> yes, I want that. This here. Give this divine shield and taunt, which is gonna, which is amazing. Buff all my mods by plus, plus two attack. Okay, let me put this here because if they have a big cleave, we want it to hit. Uh, we want it to hit three three, not the nine six. Okay, so um, actually, there's a good argument to be made to put it like that. Um, so. Um, the power level was really high in Kobolds and Catacombs, and that's the, nice the Risen Throne. And then the next, like, literally the whole next year, no matter how, no matter what set was released, the metagame did not change significantly, mm -hmm. because people continued using cards from those expansions. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the power level is too high, it can, it, it can, it can hurt, like, later stuff. That makes sense. So, for example, there is a card here, like, called Dragon Maw Potion. It's a four mana for four. Mm -hmm. This battle is not cry. a that's not a fair card at all. Yeah, the, the battle cry. It's a four mana four four. So mm -hmm. you can play a turn four or a turn three if you use coin. Battle cry. If your opponent opponent controls a dragon, which will be likely in the new expansion, sure. gain plus four four and rush. So you can play on turn <laughs> four an eight eight with uh, rush. And this is a rare card. No, so you can have two in your deck. That's I yeah. I, I don't really agree with your assessment right there. That's a tech card. You can't judge a tech card based on its most like the most viable moment of its um But like bear with me here, Eric. You have like the no, you're gonna, you didn't let me finish my idea. Okay, sorry, go. Ahead. You have to set the wait until I finish this. Um I don't, yeah, I want to sell this, I guess. Do this. It'd be nice if I could get another one of these. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> um, maybe I want to do it like... This? No, that's better. Alright, so, um, oh. Okay. Um, so... Here's why I disagree with your assessment. You're assessing a card that is powerful under circumstances. We have seen in many t cases over the history of Hearthstone, cards which are quote unquote so powerful under like a pers Ugh, fuck you. Um, under a specific set of circumstances that end up not being strong overall. And the reason being is that circumstantial cards aren't necessarily good. And so like in this case, for instance, you're saying like, look at this card. It's so, it's so powerful. It's an eight-eight on four. Now, for Janelle, you, I don't think you really have conceptualization for what eight-eight on four means. Um, please hit the divine shield. Oh my gosh, that thing has never gotten divine shield twice in a run. All right, we can still win if our middle, if our, if our minion attacks the mid. Yes. 
Thank Ooh. goodness. Ooh, like, wow. We don't kill him though. We're one off. Or two off. Um, like, but, so like, for instance, there's a card that is a five mana 3-3, three, three, which just straight up destroy a mech. Now, in theory, <laughs> this card is like, wow, if mechs are all over the place, this card is really good. We had a meta where mechs were literally all over the place. Like, mechs were, like, the most popular thing to be running. That card saw no play, because it still wasn't good enough. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that this card isn't better than that one. I'm just saying that, like, uh, this is good. And I think... Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Oh, my God. What am I doing? This, is, this was actually, so that was ideal positioning, which is so surprising. Yeah, because yeah, I knew that they had that. Perfect. Died on the Divine Shield, which is good for us. Bad hit. Mama Hoo Hoo hit. Mama Hoo Hoo is Chinese for so-so. Um, okay, okay. Please, we need a little bit of luck for once game. We need just a little bit of luck. Not even a lot, we just need a little bit of luck. Oh! <laughs> All right, we're dead. Uh, we did. We might get top four if this guy dies. All right. So the reason why we could have—it doesn't matter. What we could've. Okay. Um. <laughs> fourth. Nice. All right. I'll finish my thought. So like, and like other tech. There's been a lot of tech guards that have been like presumably like amazing over the years. And like I think that when I look at a four four that only that's like a four mana four four which is not good. You would never put a four mana four four in your deck. That does gain plus four plus four and rush if your opponent has a dragon. It's great if you expect your opponent to have a dragon every game, and it's great if it's played on turn four. But most dragons are a really big. They tend to be you know like dragons are mythical creatures right. They tend to be like eight cost right. Sure. And so it's not necessarily good if your opponent doesn't have a dragon. Two, if I'm playing a dragon deck and I think my opponent and I know the meta and my opponent, I'm like, oh yeah, 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 they're running that 8-8. I can tell. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna avoid playing dragons until I've got a lead. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Like, and so like to me that like if we're talking about power level, I don't think that that card's a great example because a it's neutral it can be played by anyone. So like it's it it neutralizes its own power level because you're not going to be anyone if anyone can run a card then it, it typically neutral cards end up not being too powerful because they're not part of a particular strategy that only one class or kind of deck can run, right? We rarely see neutral cards. For instance, Carnivorous Cube was really good in a bunch of different decks, okay. and so it never got nerfed. But what did get nerfed was a different card that really was broken with Carnivorous Cube and Warlock, right? And so like I, th I find that typically being the case. Um, I'm talking about Dark Pact specifically. Yeah, that. sure. And so... I think that, like, I don't disagree with you that the power level is strong. I don't disagree with you that if the power, like, if power levels are bad, the game gets wonky. Because, to finish my thought from before, if power level is too weak, then an expansion comes out and nothing changes, right? So, like, you can't, like, you need to find the middle ground where an uh, expansion doesn't invalidate later ones, but it also, it, it, like, adds on to the experience of playing the game. But... I think we, if we're going to judge power level, we need to not pick tech cards as our examples. But, yeah, I, I agree with you, but, like... As they are pushing dragons so aggressively, and they are printing, they are printing mm -hmm. like cheap dragons as well. Mm -hmm. There are a bunch of like two mana dragons, three mana dragons printed there as well. So, yeah. But like this is speculative. Where this is pure speculation. Of course. We don't know what's gonna happen. Yes. But like I feel that like if they are printing a four with a four cost mana card with this thing, they are expecting it to be played on curve. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. because there are a lot of. I don't know, like, I, 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 for example, there are, there I mean, are, there are, like, minions, like, for instance, Rogue, because I play a lot of Rogue. Rogue is a 2 mana 2-3 that gains a 3, that becomes a 3-4 with Rush, yeah. if you're holding a card from another class. Yeah. That card is not meant to be played on 2. You would never play it on 2. Yeah, I know, but, like, but they are printing 2 and 3 mana cost dragons, you know what I mean? Like, uh -huh. that's a thing, like, but if, me, it, if, but it's a balance then, right? Because, like, you have to slot, like, is it worth putting this into my deck? Am I running into enough 
decks where this would be played great on that, curve. That's what we don't know. But no, no. But I'm saying that's a push and pull. So like, what happens is, is oh, people start including that card in the deck. Well, I'm not running dragons. Then okay, I'll run a different yeah, strategy. Sure. And then yeah, their decks are weaker because I don't have dragons, and they have this card that's only good against dragons, right? Yeah. And then so then then it comes back. Oh, no one's playing that card. I'll play dragons. That's a good. That's healthy. That's meta game, yeah. right? That makes it you feel like you're making consequential decisions when you're picking the deck and the cards that are going to be in the deck. Come here, Murlocs. <laughs> Um, makes me, me feel let, like you're, you're making consequential decisions. So like, I I want you to just pick a better card because I think that that one is really strong in the situation you described. Which but one? Only in that situation. Which one do you feel like that we should talk about? All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to playhearthstone.com because then I can pull up. Don't tell the others. But are you gonna be able to play and like? Talk about this yeah, decision? of course. Okay. I'm a genius. So <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I can trust that I can play through the early turns while pulling up a card. Um, cards. We lost. See, to me, like I don't really care much about the, what happened in combat. It actually typically doesn't impact you too much, especially in the early turns, because like it's you like once you've played probably for me like a hundred rounds. I've like literally played like a hundred games of this at this point, because um, my this is my my wife's and I before bed game. Like we play <laughs> we, like we play in bed for about an hour. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna go to I think Warrior got a really strong card. Let me look. Um. Maybe not. There's some good cards here, but I want to. Oh, no, there is a weapon in Hunter. Um, the Stormhammer. Yeah. That, no, that nope. That's not a good example of something that's broken. Again, you have to be you have to be running a Dragon Hunter deck in order for this card to be good. Sure. If okay. if you have to be running dragons for a card to be good, and then there someone can just run that format eight eight. That is, you know. Okay. So like you know, not a great example. One sec. Let me think. I'm just trying to find a really good example. There's like it's not that we're pointing to bad cards here, Janelle. It's more sure. ooh, this is just overpowered. This cards. is a ooh, this could be really good. Let me think about this for a second. I have two options. I can buy this and this or this. Uh we buy this, sell this, buy this, play this. This gives both of those plus one plus one. And we say, ha ha, we're geniuses. Let me put this here. All right. Um <laughs> Hmm, let me think. I don't know. I don't find any of these cards to be like overwhelming me, overwhelmingly. And we're gonna avoid neutrals because, right, because a neutral card can in theory be good for anybody. I think, so like, there's, first, oh, okay, I've got a great example of a card that I, that is, so like, this is, we're talking about power level. One thing that we often talk about is power creep. And what power creep is, is like this card. And I'll explain why in just a second. Um, holy trash tier minions these are all tier ones but we're tier two that's bad that's not what we wanted so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this we're gonna say wow tough luck eric and then we're gonna use our hero power which gives us a random one of these we grab the spinning image oh nice so this in there okay so this is uh furbolg what was his name furbold five mana one one six six <laughs> Earthstone. i don't remember the name of the card right now uh, yeah. Okay, you're gonna come my game. Mana five, and I know it's a one one. Can I organize by attack? Darn it. Okay. Five, Furbolg Moss Binder. Okay. Oh, yeah. Furbolg Moss Binder is a five mana one one. Transform a friendly minion into a six six. Okay. Then we've got this new card. Rush, which means it can attack right away. Mm -hmm. Five mana, five four. So way better stats. Transform a random minion of yours into a copy. So another five four with rush. Way better card. The difference is it's and so like we can argue power creep. It's way better than that old card. That old card sucked. No one ever played it. So like this is not power creep. If it's better than a card that no one ever played. Right. We lost. What? By a lot. No. Um. Oh, let's do. So like that's like power creep. I think this mm -hmm. card is like good, but like just because something's more powerful than something we used to have doesn't mean that it's actually good. Um, 
Like, this is a card, destroy your opponent's armor. Again, only if your opponent has armor. And there's only, like, three mm -hmm. classes in the whole game that gain armor. Period. Yeah, but, like... Three but out of nine. You're yeah, not going to slot in a card that's only valuable a third of the time. Yeah, but, like... And it, and it isn't even always going to be valuable in all those third of the times. I know, man, but, like, I feel offended by the card in particular because, like, it, it addresses such an important part of class identity for warrior. You know what I mean? Like... It's, this, it's for example like if you printed a card that like you cannot steal stuff from your opponent class to counter rogue, you know what I mean? I don't agree with that because you know, I actually don't think this card is very good. It's another tech card. Like I think judging the power of tech cards based on their I'm primo, not saying that, yeah. that it's good. I'm uh -huh. saying that like the way the, the card, the, the design behind the, the, the philosophy behind the design I disagree with. Because, like, it addresses a thing that is an important identity marker for a class. You know what I mean? This is my problem. I'm not... Even if it, do, it doesn't see play at all, they, the, the Hearthstone's designers printing that card, I feel, like, weird about it. You know what I mean? Like, because, like, it's not, it's not tacking something that, like, it's secondary for... So for some, like... I don't know, like, for Druid or Paladin, but for Warrior, like, building up armor, it's something important for oh, the yeah. class. You know but, what I mean? Like, but, like, but I would say, like, okay, so, like, here's what I say. For a 5 mana 5-5, five, five, how much armor would you have to destroy for this to be worthwhile? And how often would it have to be good? This card is, I think it's more meant because there's it happens to be a combo in Wild where someone gains literally, like, 2,000 armor. In yeah. a game where you normally have 30 health. Right? Okay. So this that card is specifically like, oh, if you're in wild and running into this broken combo, here's your solution. I think it's actually useless in any other situation. Your opponent has ten armor, this is not good. I see. I, I agree with I'm not saying <laughs> that the card is good. I'm saying that it's bad I don't game know. design. You I don't know what I mean? Like, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. So can For you, me it's bad game can you design. concisely explain why it's bad game design? Okay. So uh Warrior, the class, uh -huh. like its hero power is two, two mana, gain two armor. Okay. And like there are a lot of uh, cards and game strategies uh, from Warrior that resolve resolves around gaining armor. Okay. It's not like it's not like just that thing because sure. like there are a lot of like Warrior like builds that doesn't like rely on armor. Uh, but it's like, it's literally the hero power. Sure, so this is more... Like, the class identity thing is really what you're... Yeah, I'm not saying... I'm, 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 I'm not saying that this card is gonna see play. I'm not saying that, that this is game-breaking yeah, or that's even good. good. I'm not saying that yeah. at you all. You just don't like that it like it I like seems to target Warrior in a particular way. I, I don't... Yeah, I don't like the way that it addresses something that is like mm -hmm. important for class identity you know what i mean so, like, like it will always be strong against a warrior using not necessarily armor. yeah but not necessarily because like there are other warrior archetypes yeah there are, there right. are parameters it's not it's not a good card i agree with eric it's not a good card but like you just don't like it i i don't it's not that i don't like the card i don't like the idea of blizzard feeling comfortable Me to with? print a card with this effect. That directly attacks one of the hero powers. That directly attacks one of the class identities. Okay. This is like my problem with the card. You know Are there... I mean? like, it's a, it's a, my problem is a philosophical one. I think yeah, that... Yeah, no, <laughs> I understand that. And, and here, I think that's here, fair. Here, like, what about this card? Destroy a minion and all copies where you wear it. That kind of just counter... I don't know. I'm just, you know, I'm being a little contrarian today, so I'll, I'll stop. No, uh, I mean, I, 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 you have to, like, uh -huh. make your point, like, because I feel that we are thinking about the game in different ways, like, by discussing this. You know what I mean, Eric? No, yeah, I, I can see that. Um, so, what I, the way that I feel about it is, like, I think that was amazing, by the way, we have all those plus one, plus one. Ooh, I'll take that. I love that card. My, this is probably my wife's favorite card in the thing. So, like, I think that there are always going to be cards that limit or mitigate other strategies. Sure. And sometimes it might be part of class identity. For instance, part of Druid and Shaman's class identity is to go, quote-unquote, wide, right? Put a, a big board of tokens, 
right? Yes. Mm-hmm. And so, does a card like Earthquake, which isn't a card about to be released, but it's a card that like that does seven damage to everything, then two damage to everything. It completely invalidates one of Druid's big things, which is Druid is supposed to be all about regrowth. So they love to play a board of a bunch of minions and then buff them all so that when they die, they summon another thing. So like it's like two okay. boards in one. Sure. Right? That one card, Earthquake, invalidates that whole strategy. Like a huge part of Druid's identity. But it's just not armor, right? It's like a different aspect of their identity. And so, for me... Nice. That was all, that was all pretty good for us. So like, to me, there's always going to be stuff... Wow, that thing has... Ouch. Jeez. 8... 28... Well, we can't beat it. Kid, we just can't beat this. Um, silly. <laughs> Good job, Kyrian. So, like, I don't know. I think that, like, always some aspect of some class's identity. Like, another thing is, like, Priest is all about resurrecting minions, right? And there are cards in the game that are specifically designed... Let me go ahead and do this turn. Um, hello. Hello. Uh... Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Ooh, I can actually buy another minion. I didn't think about this. What am I gonna do? One sec. I want you so bad. Let me put this on. Okay. So, to return. Oh, oh yeah, we. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> so I think that there are always aspects of like. Okay, right, so for priests, right? Like they love to summon big minions, and like mm-hmm. then they want to resurrect those big minions. But there, and that's a huge part of priest class identity. Like, priest is the priest, right? They resurrect things from the dead. That's like. Classic Wild Priest does that. It's like one of their iconic abilities. Okay. All right. A lot of times when you revive something, it's random. Like re- revive a minion of yours that died this game. If you don't get to pick. It's just one of them. So you want to sure. keep your pool of minions that died with a particular amount. But then there's a bunch of cards that are like, oh yeah, you know what? You know what? Summon some one ones for your opponent. Like, ah, uh, you wanted to resurrect your minions. Well, now there's one ones in the pool of dead yeah. minions, right? And that's a huge part of countering Priest thing. And that's part of Priest identity too. So like. You know what I mean? Like, to me, like, saying, like, well, it just counters Warrior's identity too much is because it's so, it's a little, I would say, obtuse in its direction, right? Just destroy all your opponent's armor. Kind of like, uh, okay, I guess. You know what I mean? They're kind of sure. obtuse, like, a really just direct solution to the problem, mm-hmm. as opposed to, like, summon three one-cost minions for your opponent. But both of them do the same thing, which is invalidating an aspect of a class's identity. And that's part of the natural counterplay of of the game. And that's why I like tech cards. Tech cards are some of the most fun cards to me because they... Um, oh! Thank you, based game. Okay. <laughs> so we sell this because it's... Well, actually, these are both terrible. This is just slightly less bad, I think. We do this, and we say, oh yeah. And then we say, give that Murloc mech poisonous, and then we throw out our Iron Sensei, which gives a random minion plus two plus two at the end of our turn. Random mech, but all of our minions are mechs, so it's gonna give one of them plus two plus two. Ooh, I like this when one of our minions is attacked. So this gives us a secret. Hmm. Um, and secrets are good because one of them actually makes us so we don't die. Like, literally, like we just, when we would take lethal damage, we don't. So we, oh, and then and then good. and then it disappears. Sure. Um, but we didn't get offered it. Otherwise, I would. Um, I'm gonna take the poisonous minion because a, a poisonous minion usually means like you basically kill a random opponent minion, which could be really hmm. good. And so I think from my game design philosophy, I really like the inclusion of tech cards because whenever I played tech cards in the past, I just it's felt very rewarding. Like sure, um, spellbreaker. Like there used to be a murloc that ate pirates and got really big, and there was a meta where pirates were so ubiquitous, you would just run that card in every deck. And there is a crab that eats murlocs. Right? Yeah, and then there's a crab that eats murlocs, right? So like you know, it's just wow, we crushed this one. No, I mean I under I I. Like, I agree with you, but I feel that, like, for example, Earthquake, <laughs> of earthquake is a removal. Yeah. Like, there are other removal cards for every class. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you have, it, it's a, because, like, building a big board is not something that is, like, exclusive of Druid and Shaman and whatever. Yeah, of course. But, like, so, printing a board clearer 
doesn't feel like you're attacking in a specific class, you know what I mean? As yeah. this destroy mm -hmm. your opponent's armor feels for warrior, you know what I mean? So then is armor exclusive to warrior? No, it's no, not exclusive. There's a couple of classes like, that can use that But it's like it. much more like... Oh, baby. It's like more integral to the warrior. Yeah. Okay. Like other classes use it as well, but like the only class that like rely on it like in some builds is mostly warrior. Okay. So like I don't know like just to put in another words like this card sounds like a big screw you to warrior, you know what I mean? Like directly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like and this is like what I feel that's like mm, weird, you know what I mean? Like Yeah. So what I would say is that I agree with you maybe a little bit in principle. If the game was just like warrior versus shaman, right? Then that card would be busted because like it just makes Shaman sure. way better against warrior right okay. the problem is is that warrior at any given time is not going to be a big part of the meta and on top of that like you know like i mean just like generally speaking all the classes see so much of play they kill their poisonous minion without as long as we don't die i'm fine with what's going on right now i kind of goofed i didn't realize i was playing nefarian when you're playing Nefarian, you usually will adjust your your layout. Mm. Okay, we really, really need to kill that 6-8. That's, that's what needs to happen. It needs to die. Please die. Because that like if that thing lives, I think we just lose. Good, good, good. Excellent. Alright. We actually got a lot of device shields off on that guy. Finally, right? Alright. Uh, so that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 8. Okay, we're, we're okay. Now we need to start fishing for the ice block. <laughs> Please, ice block, we need you. Welcome back. How's it going? No ice block? Come on, game. We're fighting the dead guy, though, so that's good. Uh, second minion dies, return it to life, sure. Um, that's what I would do. Better hire a recruit while you can. I want this. Shoot. It's not really that good. I don't. I, don't, I actually don't know if I want to. We're good against anyone but Nefarian here, so hopefully we don't play Nefarian. Um, oh, one sec. All right, back to our discussion. And so, if but like to me, when the game is like, I like that, like when the game is really like, there are nine classes and you're gonna face a random one. Ooh, that was bad. Um, bad boy, could have killed that other one. <laughs> good boy. That minion is gonna return to life. Oh, that that's not actually very good for us. <laughs> that's okay. Why is it, this person had a really weird order to their board? The person said that. Like, yeah, but but the order was whatever they chose oh, yeah. last. Oh come on, game. All right, we really don't want that divine shield to hit. Yes. Okay, now we're okay with it, anything that happens. Oh, okay, it's it's gonna die. I think. Oh no, not unnecessarily. Yes. Yes! We win. Which is good, because we can't afford to lose. Um, <laughs> barely beat a dead guy. Not, not very. Not something to be super proud of. Um, we're, we just haven't had like that super high roller kind of game. Alright, now if we lose and this person loses, we get to win. Alright, give us something good. We haven't... Man. It's like our fourth time. We haven't got offered Icebox once. Um... These are all, actually, these are like the three worst ones. Uh, <laughs> so we'll take that, because that's kind of not worse. Okay. Fighting Jaraxxus, who crushed Nefarian last <laughs> turn. Wow. Jaraxxus is generally pretty good against Nefarian, though, so we can't read too much into that. It's like this. Um, and then I might as well take this. It's not good, but it's... Uh, we don't want to do it this way. We want to do it like 
this, this. This can be here. Okay. All right. So, all right. So I, I want to move away from this discussion a little bit, but okay. I I think I ge generally agree with your assessment that like it's kind of annoying when a card is just like fuck warrior, right? Like that's mm -hmm. kind of a that's a lame kind of da game design. Exactly. But I would say that generally speaking, I don't find this card to be particularly egregious because it is so useless outside of fighting warrior, and mo and ninety percent of the time you're not fighting warrior. It's literally like eleven percent of the time, if you're fighting all the classes sure. equally, you fight warrior. And I then, agree. and then, is it even every game where you fight warrior, where destroying all their armor is useful? Because there's also warrior decks that want to actually take damage. Are we about to lose? They sniped our thing. We still have that poisonous minion though. This thing can eat eat some attacks. Yeah, but like the, the snake. The snake isn't that good. Don't give him any. Yeah, oh, awesome. yeah. We, I think we win this. I don't. What do they get? They get. That was a bad hit for us, but. Wrong direction. We still win. Ooh, Ooh, wow. If it had hit the other way, it would have looked a lot prettier for us. But, um, top four, top four. Red alert, red alert. Okay, 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 okay. Let's think for a sec. We could go up to tier 5. I don't know what we'd even be looking for at tier 5. Do you want to fish for ice block? Oh yeah, ice block first. Nope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll do this. Uh, okay. See ya. Sure. No. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. We're gonna do the El Clasico. This is the El Clasico. This one one with a divine shield can be really secretly very good because it can eat some random attacks that like um I'll move this first too. Oh no, that would be bad. If they have if they have a if they have a cleaver, we want this to not get hit by it. But this can sometimes just like, oh, look, your big gigantic minion, it loses its divine shield on this. And this guy, it, wow, they're so, they're super strong. But we have a lot of divine shields, so, yep, see, look, we just popped that poisonous minion's nice. divine shield, easy. Oh, and then, and then it comes back. Keep eating, just one more divine shield. <laughs> Hit here, hit here, hit here, pop the divine shield. Eh, second best. We have no way to, okay, so the two poisonous minions die. So, we have a path to victory. It just depends on if this needs to hit in the middle. Nice. Yes! Nice. Nope, we lose. Oh. oh! We were close, but we got top four, okay. So talk to me a little bit about this class identity stuff that it's two o'clock. It How the heck did this happen? Oh wow. God, this was like the fastest episode of the arena we've ever <laughs> had. Did you make like just 10 more minutes to talk like? Um, I told my wife to hang up at 2.10, oh, okay. so we can. We can talk for like, we like, can talk for a little Just one bit. thing, for example, there is a mage We're not gonna called, play another called game like Japan Rolling then. Fireball. Do eight, da eight damage to a minion, any I'll excess up damage on continues to the left or the right. Like, this is a removal card. I'm not gonna. I'm not sure if it's gonna be playable or not. Like, mm -hmm. but the effect is creative. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like Mad Meteor, uh -huh. but it's not the same effect because like this idea of like con excess of damage, like going to the left or to the right, is different. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, sure. this is weird. Mm -hmm. Like, and I feel that like. Hearthstone game design is at its best when it's weird. Like, I totally agree. Well, I'll say one, one thing that I absolutely love about this expansion is they have placed a much higher emphasis on your board positioning. Yeah. Now, so Janelle, you don't know this, but you see, you saw when we were playing that we could like maneuver our minions around yeah. the board. And regular Hearthstone, you can do that too. And oftentimes, to me, one of the best, one of the coolest things of skill expression in, in Hearthstone is like placing your minions in the right order, not just throwing them on the board haphazardly, but knowing like, oh, I should put this minion next to this minion to play around that card or thing. It's right. so like rolling fireball, deal eight damage minion, any excess continues to left or right. So what I want to do is like, let's say I got something with eight health. 
I want that to be far on one side. Because, mm-hmm. like, if I put it in the middle, and then, like, they, they could use this on my, like, my one one, and then it would roll over yep. it and yeah. slam into my big minion. And so, like, you know, you want to, or you'd want to, like, chop up your board so that, like, right, like, if they, if your big minion's in the middle, right, and then you put, like, a small minion and then a big minion or something, right, to, yeah. like, try to make it so it doesn't hurt. But there's been a couple cards in this expansion that are like that, that yeah. are, like, like, there's one for Warrior, which, um... Ramming speed, force a minion to attack one of its neighbors. So, like, yeah. I can play around that. Yeah. Um, like, anything where, like, anything that gives the player playing a card opportunity to play around a card before it's played, I think is always really good. And you can, can you see, like, the difference between, like, this card that, like, encourages, like, creative play and, like, different ways of, like, a, a board position and mm-hmm. stuff in, in a card that says Battle Cry, destroy your opponent's armor. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, <laughs> I, I think, why are we returning to this? <laughs> no, because I, 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 just, uh-huh. I just wanted to compare, like, how yeah. you can build, like, how game design in Hearthstone can be, like, super creative yeah. and interesting and how it can be, like, stu- just plain mm-hmm. dumb, you know, stupid, offensive, yeah. in borderline offensive. Sure. Uh, so about class identity. So yeah, like, if, can you go back to mage? So yep. I can like, yeah, yeah I'm a mage, mage player. Like, I only play mage. Uh-huh. Uh, and like, mage, like the mage are like, they're basically like throwing spells. In yeah, your mage loves to cast spells, yeah, especially so, big spells. Yes, but like elementals are also like a big part of like they are mm-hmm. trying. Like, there are a lot see, of one, elementals two, on mage. Three but elementals. like, it, it, like at least for the last i don't know couple like couple of years the last three years we didn't have like a competitive elemental deck for mage yeah. mm-hmm. so in they're trying to push like a lot of like elemental what i would say that uh you did have one conjure's calling mage and was an oh, okay you have cyclone it, yeah you but it, it literally ran a card that said reduce like i would say it wouldn't be an, an elemental deck except for it re- literally ran a card that was re- zero mana reduce the cost of an okay. next elemental you play by two okay so like if you're running that particular card you're running kind of an elemental strategy yeah because <laughs> no because like in mage library you have like a lot of cards that like mm-hmm. want you to build we'll like an and- elemental Go to my full collection. deck, an, an elemental with a, a deck with like a lot of different elementals. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Um, and I love like elementals. Like I love the idea of the I elementals. If you play so. an elemental, let's turn draw a card. Yeah, but like they were never uh, put on put uh, go to craft. I'm not missing any of the mage elementals. I have every single one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. These are the ones in standard. If we want to go to all wild oh, yeah, cards. That's, uh, these are like old yeah, elementals wired, that, yeah, are, that yeah, I've like yeah, crossed yeah. out of the game. This card was awesome. I love Leyline Manipulator. Me too, um, but like, but it's very like, I mean, I love the idea of the card. I love like, mm-hmm. I love the, the elemental tribe, but mm-hmm. it, it was, it was never like a thing like in the map. Right. You know what I mean? Like, and I really wanted it to be because I love the idea of the elementals. Like, in a, in a narrative perspective, mm-hmm. you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, like it's like a little creature that you're summoning out of magic, right? Yeah, I love this. And I feel that, like, this is so related to, like, m- m- uh, Warcraft and, like, Jaina, the character, because, mm-hmm. like, she summons elementals. Like, mm-hmm. the water elemental is and literally a power that, like, she has on Warcraft 3, you know what I mean? Like, and uh, there's Jaina right there. Character you play as if you're a mage. Okay. You can play as other ones, but that's the base one. Yeah. So, but, but like, in Blizzard is like printing new mage uh, elemental cards. Mage, can I go back to the to the. Yep. So yep. we can talk about Shinvala. No. Oh. The, the, uh, Summon a five five elemental after you cast. After yours. yeah, so like, this is not gonna see play because like even if you are able to like you generate a lot of Mr. spells, Mister, it's all speculation, and then this isn't gonna see play. <laughs> but, like, it's obviously. I mean, like even if you can generate a lot of spells, like. In order, like, you can build a, build a big board and then your opponent can, like, clear your board and mm-hmm. it's over. Well, that, you know what I mean? like, that can literally be said about any card. No, yeah, your 8-8 like, isn't good because someone can like, just kill it. But, like, the investments that you have to do yeah. in order to build a board, it's not, like, it's better to, like, mm-hmm. put a mountain giant and, like, conjure call it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, conjure, conjure is calling. Feels more, like, feels a better investment than like playing Shinvala, you know what I mean? So I really want Elemental to be a thing, but I know mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm not sure if it's Oh this it's one's pretty be. good too, right? Play two yeah, this play one an elemental good. two turns in a row, draw three spells for so like there's one, two, three, four elemental specific cards. And is there any elementals 
from the, in the neutrals? Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> your minus can't be frozen. <laughs> Why? Like, I mean, it's. What I'll say is, I agree with you generally. Like, I think one thing that I want to talk about more next week is like what happens when you have a perception of what mage is, right? And then the, the cards printed aren't what you f- love about mage. For instance, for me, what I've always loved about priest is like priest is to me has always been a class that's about comboing unique cards together, right? And so like my favorite card of all time is Lyra. The Sun Shard. Yeah. Lyra was this mm-hmm. card for you. Whenever you play a priest spell, add a priest spell to your hand, a okay. random one. Yeah. And so it was, And then what you would do is you would play like a card that discounted spells, and so that way you could just rapid fire a bunch of spells. And then there would be like these really complex turns where you're playing. You don't even know what you're going to do at the start of the yeah. turn because mm-hmm. you just know I'm going to play a bunch of spells. It's and improv. Like, okay. Yeah, it's improv. Yeah, and that was like what that is what I love about priest is that it's it's always been kind of like a randomly generated improv kind of class. To me, a lot of these cards don't do that (laughs) very well. So to me, Priest is like, I'm not super excited to play Priest the next expansion, even though it's my main class. Same thing, I really love Rogue, and I I like some of these Rogue cards a lot, but what I love about Rogue is Rogue's steal mechanic rogue well uh, rogue and priest have both have it that's why they're yeah. two my two favorite class they the priest will steal things from your opponent's deck mm-hmm. um or well they won't steal it they'll add copies so they don't like okay. so your opponent still has that but you have it now but you too. Have it too. Okay. and so i love i love thinking like oh my opponent probably has baron geddon in their deck and baron geddon will be perfect right now i'm gonna steal their baron geddon you know like that kind yeah. of thing like um and that, that's what i love about rogue too and rogue didn't get like any of that this turn hmm. or this this time around but I love it. I love like some of these cards a lot. Like I love this card, Flick Sky Shiv. It's like another tech card, right? Yeah. Destroy a minion and all copies of it wherever they are. Interestingly, huh. it destroys copies of your deck and your opponent's deck. Interesting. But it's really good if your opponent like there's some cards in the game that are like add three copies of this card to your deck, right? It's like it's like you suddenly have like a bunch of this one guy, and then you right. just play Flick, and it's like. See ya. Nope. But even if you don't get the see ya, you still destroyed the minion, right? So it's right. still, you know, I like I love cards that are like good in specific circumstances, but also just good in general ones as well. Yeah. It is 206. This has been a fun episode of the arena. We're going to return and actually play with these cards next yes. week yeah. and see how how crappy Elemental Mage really <laughs> is. I'm going to build an Elemental Mage. I'll build there. one too and we'll see who can build a better Elemental Mage. Um You'll probably. I don't know about that. <laughs> But I love um, that this has been Hearthstone Battlegrounds. Um, generally speaking, I think we had fun. I think so too. <laughs> Have a fantastic generally Thursday. Speaking. Generally, yeah. <laughs>